Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and we're gonna start this project off using these leaves that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 and then 40% off, and you get three. So I'm going to take the backs of them, I'm gonna flip them over on just two of them, and paint them with a color called buttermilk. It's like an off-white color. Just make sure that I gave both of them a good coat. And I just kept one plain, like I said. You could do all three. That's totally up to you. So I'm going to let those dry. And then once I have them dry, I'm going to take a couple of napkins that I had. I'm going to cut this one because I just thought the design on it was beautiful. And I liked some of the writing that was on it. So I'm going to put some Mod Podge down on one of them trying to decide which one I wanted. I wanted one of the little bit bigger ones. They're pretty much all the same size, but one of mine was like a little bit bigger than the other ones. And I wanted that one for the one with the writing. So I'm just going to put a nice coat of Mod Podge on here. And then I am going to lay my napkin down. And you can kind of see the writing here. But I'm going to lay it just the way that I want it. So you can see some of the writing and then I'm just going to slowly smooth it out with my hand and I'm doing this very gently. I don't want to tear my napkin. I'm going to set that one aside. Next I'm going to use this other napkin that I have. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some more Mod Podge to this other one. And you can probably use scrapbook paper on this. You could use tissue paper, napkins, whatever you have on hand. You could even paint something really pretty on them. I'm going to use this napkin here. I absolutely love this napkin. It was one of my favorites that was in my napkin packs. And look how pretty that is. The colors are just amazing in this napkin. So again, I'm just repeating the process and just smoothing it all out. And then I'm going to let those dry. And I'm going to use my heat gun to aid the process and make it go faster. Once I had them all dry, I'm just going to take my little sanding block and I'm going to sand off all of the edges. And again, you just want to go the same way with the sander all the way around. And these are just so pretty. I absolutely love the way these are turning out. Again, just making sure that you get all of that excess napkin off of both of them. And between all those little edges and look how stinking cute these are next I'm just gonna take some of my antique wax and my applicator and just go around the edges just to darken them up and give them a little bit more of a rustic feel I love the way it blends with the colors on the napkin and how pretty and I repeat the process on the other one also and I just love this. Such a neat idea. I had seen a video somewhere. I don't even know. Facebook, maybe Pinterest. But look how beautiful these are. I absolutely love them. These would look great in a vignette or on a tablescape. You can show the bark side and then the two decoupage sides. I just think they turned out so beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspired you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.